What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and forgive me if I sound a little bit weird, I've lost my voice, but I wanted to power through this video for you guys because we got a new trailer today for Call of Duty Ghosts regarding the squads mode that shows a lot of potential. It's really, really cool, and I wanted to break down the trailer for you guys. So, if you haven't seen it yet, then I'm just going to let it play through once right here, so enjoy the trailer, and I'll see you guys after it's over to break down all the nitty gritty details that you guys are going to want to know. So, I'll see you in a second. Bring it up, squad. Squads is an all-new set of modes that will be featured in Call of Duty Ghosts. In multiplayer, players create a squad of soldiers and earn XP to rank them up, unlocking all new customization and loadout options. In squads, players get to see all that hard work come to life by seeing their whole squad fight together. There are a variety of different gameplay modes within squads. Each mode offers a unique challenge that allows you to experience the thrill of multiplayer on your own or with friends. You will battle against AI-controlled teams that use the same tactics as real players do in multiplayer. In war games, your team can be made up of friends or AI-controlled soldiers from your squad. You play against an AI-controlled team of soldiers with a variety of loadouts. War game is designed to develop your skills with opposing soldiers that scale and difficulty to match your level. Squad Assault is a co-op mode where you and up to five of your friends can challenge the squads of offline players. You will fight on the map and mode selected by that player. When you are offline, your squad can be challenged by other players, earning you XP bonuses while you're away. In Squad vs. Squad, it's you and your squad against another player and their squad. You will have to carefully consider loadouts and how your soldiers' abilities complement each other as you battle it out head-to-head -to, -head to see who has created the superior squad. Safeguard is a co-op survival mode for up to four people. Players must challenge themselves to see how long they can last against waves of enemies while using many of the perks and kill streaks from multiplayer. Squads is a thrilling chance to show off your soldiers, your style, and your strategy. You get to see all of the choices that you made when creating your squad come to life. The soldier that you've equipped with a sniper rifle and dead silence perk will act like a real sniper. That character with submachine gun and guard dog kill streak will play as a run and gunner. And best of all, the XP you earn battling in squads carries back into multiplayer, allowing you to learn and level up on your own terms. With squads, we've taken some of the coolest new features from Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer and given you an entirely new way to experience them. Right, so there you guys have it. That was pretty cool. And, and I just gonna kind of go through the trailer and point out a couple of the details you guys may have missed that were pretty interesting to me and, and that I think that you guys would want to know about. So uh, anyway, starting off here with the whole squad idea, if you guys don't understand it, basically when you play Call of Duty Ghosts, your account is gonna have 10 individual in-game characters that you can rank up and unlock and customize in any way that you want. And each of these 10 guys can prestige once. So if you prestige all of them once, that equivalates to 10 prestiges. So, you know, we still kind of technically have 10 prestiges in the game and just FYI 60 is the maximum level uh, as you can see in this image right here down the bottom left but anyway yeah so uh, you build your squad and you can just play with them normally in multiplayer you know like we always have been you just choose one of your characters you go into a game you can play with friends you know rank up online do all that stuff or you can play in the squads mode with your entire team and there's a bunch of different game modes in the squads mode that you can play that all count towards your multiplayer XP and things like that. So there's Squad Assault right here, which is lead your squad against another player squad at their home base. There's Squad versus Squad, which says go head to head with another player and their squad. There's Safeguard, which is kind of like survival from Modern Warfare 3, where you face hordes of enemies as they assault your team, and it's to round 20 is when you win, and then Safeguard Extended goes up to round 40, and then finally, Safeguard Infinite is the most like survival from Modern Warfare 3, because there's no limit on the amount of rounds that you can have. You just see how long you last so uh, those are those and then finally the last mode that, that you can play in the squads mode is war game which is pitch your squads against a team of bots recruit other players to play with you so uh, the squads mode thing is it's something to mix it up and you know do something besides just playing normal multiplayer to rank up your characters and progress through the game but then also this is something that can earn you XP when you're not playing because when other players challenge your squad when you're offline your squad will face them it's just your squad's gonna be all AI 
and it's going to earn you XP. So you're going to be literally ranking up while you're sleeping in Call of Duty Ghosts, which I think is pretty cool. And, and we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. I can't wait to bring you guys some videos on this mode because it sounds pretty cool and pretty different. Now, moving on, uh, before we get into the multiplayer features and guns and stuff I noticed in this trailer, one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys is on this screen right here, you can see that up in the top left, blurred out, you know, very, very lightly, it says play extinction online so extinction is some sort of new game type in call of duty ghost i'm not sure if it's a part of multiplayer if it's a part of squads or it could even be its own thing you know maybe there's campaign multiplayer squads and then extinction who knows you know but the name's pretty interesting extinction what do you have up your sleeve infinity ward we talking dinosaurs or what i don't know we'll have to wait and see but as more information comes out i will let you guys know but anyway moving on for the second part of this video the second part of this breakdown i want to talk about all of the multiplayer features that we saw on this trailer are things that are likely to be in multiplayer which is what I'm most interested in and I think a lot of you guys are most interested in so uh, starting off here with guns we saw a create a class screen in this trailer and as you can see his primary weapon is the Vepper which is an SMG and it's actually an AK-47 variant so uh, this is kind of like the 74U that we saw back in Call of Duty 4 and Black Ops 1 and things like that so I'm really really excited about using this weapon it's probably going to be one of the better ones but the main thing I wanted to point out is look at its second attachment it looks like he put three round burst on this weapon. So it looks like there's going to be some sort of select fire type attachment in Call of Duty Ghost to affect the way that your gun fires. And it looks like in this one, if you put three round burst on it, it, it decreases the accuracy, but it increases the range and the fire rate. So I don't know. That's pretty interesting. I'm glad that's coming back from Black Ops 2 and, and it should, you know, add a new dynamic to the weapons. Now, uh, the next thing I want to point out is this pistol right here. Now, I, I kind of did a breakdown video of all the pistols in Call of Duty Ghost. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll link it in the description. But anyway, we only knew about four pistols up until this point, but I saw somewhere that there were five slots for pistols in this secondary, you know, section of creative class. And this is the fifth pistol we were looking for. So there's this thing, which I don't know the name of. I'm not a gun aficionado, so let me know if you guys uh, recognize this thing. But there's this one, there's the Magnum, there's the P226, there's the Grok. I don't know the numbers on the Grok. And then there's the M9. So there's going to be five pistols in Call of Duty Ghost. So look forward to that. Now, uh, moving on to the final weapon that we saw in this trailer, at least the final one I wanted to point out. Right here, we have the USR Sniper. And as you can see in the created class screen, it's described as bolt action, deadly from the waist up with faster handling, recoil compensator reduces kick with each kill. So uh, this thing is pretty interesting. It's described a little bit differently than all the other snipers that we talked about in my sniper breakdown video. But, but yeah, it says it's got faster handling, which makes me think this thing aims down sight faster. So the USR may be the quick scoping weapon of choice in Call of Duty Ghosts. Nobody's played with it yet, but but I'm just kind of assuming that based off of that description there. And the recoil compensator reduces the kick with each kill, which is, uh, I don't know, that's pretty cool. You know, if you get more uh, shots on target, you're going to have a better chance of having a shot on target, which I think is a pretty cool, you know, way to reward people that, that are being smart with the weapon. So, uh, moving on from guns, let's move into sights. We saw a few different sights in this gameplay, and one of which is really, really confusing, which is the hybrid sight. So, uh, right here, we saw the red dot. You know, obviously, that's the red dot. That's always going to be in Call of Duty. Next up, we saw the holographic. Again, that's another one like the red dot. We've always seen that before. Now, next up, We've got this hybrid sight right here, and as you can see, it's in short range mode. It's in kind of like the red dot mode, and you can see off to the side of the weapon, there's that big bulky thing that if you flip that over, it'd go into long range mode, and you'd have a little bit more zoom in on people. But then, after this, we saw another hybrid sight. As you can see up at the top of the screen, it calls it a hybrid scope, and, and it's a very, very vertical reticle. Like, it's straight up and down. It's not sideways at all. It's very vertical, which looks weird. And then also, another important thing is it blurs out the peripheral vision around your scope, which is weird. You know, usually they only do that if they're adding a benefit. Like with sniper rifles, they do that because you're getting the super zoomed in scope that's very, very accurate. With this one, I don't see an instant benefit that this guy is getting in this scenario. So I know there's got to be a benefit there, but I'm not seeing it. So if you guys have any ideas as to what this could be, let me know. And then also, shortly after this, we saw another similar scope that highlighted enemies, kind of like a target finder. So, you know, it's the same vertical one with the, the 
the peripheral vision that's blurred, but it actually targets enemies and it highlights them. So I can understand why this one has its peripherals blurred, but again, for the other one before this, I'm not sure why they did that. So let me know if you guys have any ideas as to what the benefit of that scope could be. Now, uh, finally, the last scope that we saw in this gameplay is another hybrid scope that, that this time has a thermal twist to it. So the thermal is going to be coming back in, in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, uh, finally, for the last part of this video, the last thing I want to mention to you guys is some of the kill streaks that we saw in this gameplay. Uh, number one is right here. I believe this one is going to be the highest kill streak in the game. So, uh, as you can see on screen, you've got four different options of what you can do with this thing. You can lay down a carrot package, you can lay down a juggernaut, you can shoot large rods, or you can shoot small rods. So, this is some variant of the Odin satellite from the single player. You know, this is the thing that rained down hell all over America and blew up all its major cities and, you know, kind of sent America in a, a downward spiral in the campaign and it's coming to multiplayer in some way, shape, or form. So this is some sort of Odin satellite. I believe it's going to be the highest kill streak in the game. Now, next up, we saw a couple of images of the Assault Juggernaut in action. We've actually already seen him before in a different trailer, but he just looks really, really badass, so I figured I'd show him to you guys anyway. Uh, next up right here, you can see the Sentry Gun is returning to Call of Duty Ghosts, and then after that, we see a new kill streak that looks like some sort of sniper helicopter kill streak. It looks like this guy is flying around while shooting down on people at the same time, which looks like it'd be very, very effective, especially on a map like Stonehaven where there's not a lot of cover and it's more of like an open field type scenario. So I'm excited to uh, to check that kill streak out. Now, uh, next up right here, we have a bi rotor drone. That's right, two rotors, not four. It's not a quad. It's a bi rotor drone and, and it's got a big machine gun hanging down from it and it looks like it might be following this character around. So maybe this is some sort of a uh, an escort drone or something like that. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. And and then finally, in the very last scene of the trailer, I believe this is the new chopper gunner kill streak. I'm not sure if that's what it's gonna be called, but yeah, it's some sort of chopper gunner. It looks like it's shooting both bullets and rockets at something, you know, the side of the hill there. So so that sounds like it'd be really really powerful. And I'm sure this one is is pretty far up there, you know, a pretty high kill streak along with that Odin satellite as well. So uh, there you guys have it. That is my in depth breakdown of the new trailer for Call of Duty Ghosts today. I hope you all enjoyed and. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button because I did spend quite a lot of time in this video and my voice is killing me. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Check out one of the other two videos on TV if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.